This is our receiving area. Our biomass is shipped to us frozen in vacuum packed bags that are a little bit larger than this. This is just simply a sample bag. And it has to be protected from sunlight because astaxanthin is very sensitive to sunlight, especially when it's still in the biomass. It is frozen and vacuum packed. It arrives here at our loading dock and then it's immediately transferred to a freezer. We are the only extractor in the world of astaxanthin that then sells product on a business to business basis to other companies. Now we're gonna go in the plant, we're gonna take a look at what we do to do the extraction. Uh, we'll show you how the world's best astaxanthin and world's most stable astaxanthin is produced. Well, here we are at the freezer. Astaxanthin is brought in in foil bags, vacuum packed, it's air freighted. When it arrives, and we always time the shipment so that it arrives during the week, we never let it sit on the dock, we never let it sit in a warehouse, then it's immediately brought into this large walk-in freezer. Now, this is the first stage of the freezer. Behind me, there's a second door, which is an, another large freezer, and that's kept at minus 20 degrees. In the meanwhile, we take samples, we check them in the laboratory for pesticides, or any other thing that might be uh, problematic with the product. When it passes quality assurance, we then take it out of the freezer and we go into the extraction plant. We do all of this within usually two days to make sure we get a product that isn't degraded, that it's totally uh, still potent. We are the only sellers of astaxanthin that has our own extraction plant and we have the quality control uh, for incoming material and we have a good overview of the world's astaxanthin biomass supply because we buy biomass from a number of vendors. This is the highest quality facility available in the world today to extract astaxanthin and make it a pure and efficacious product. Our astaxanthin biomass, Hematococcus biomass, is brought into this area, still frozen in vacuum sealed bags, the bags are then broken and put into this grinding machine that grinds it up and makes it an even consistency. So we start off with flakes or a powder, depending on the vendor of the biomass. Uh, the powdered spray dried material is a little easier to extract and we can fit more of it in an extraction vessel. But here it goes through a grinding process to a receiving vessel. And all this is done while the material is still frozen. We also add important antioxidants that are part of our proprietary O2B peroxidation blocker system to protect the astaxanthin while it's going through the extraction process. And remember, in our process, we don't use any co-solvents, we don't use any ethanol or so-called entrainers to do the extraction. The product that comes out at the end is highly pure, pesticide-free, made in an organic facility, and again, the best astaxanthin available today. Here we are just before the extraction. Astaxanthin biomass, the hematococcus biomass, is put in these stainless steel containers. We are here at the carbon dioxide storage vessel. From here, liquid carbon dioxide is pumped into our extraction vessel. And it's really important to note that this is a very environmentally friendly process. At the very end, we collect the carbon dioxide and we reuse it. And since carbon dioxide is a gas and can be easily captured and then compressed and reused, it's also very environmentally friendly. And since we use no co-solvents, there are no impurities in this. After the astaxanthin has been put inside this pressure vessel, and for hematococcus, we use 600 bar or 600 atmospheres of pressure. Will here is the guy that operates this. He opens up this. You can see how thick the jaws are on this. It opens up, the basket is put down, it's closed up, and then ultra high CO2 pressure, liquid carbon dioxide is pumped through the vessel to extract all the astaxanthin. After the astaxanthin is extracted, the product is pumped into these vessels, and these are the so-called blowdown vessels. 
In the blowdown vessel, what happens is, is that we reduce the pressure in stages, and the carbon dioxide then boils off as carbon dioxide gas. The material that is not volatile, the oleoresin, the oil containing the astaxanthin carotenoid, goes down, the gas goes up, the gas is recycled, and at the bottom of this vessel is where the oleoresin comes out. It's a very thick, viscous oil. You can see it's very thick and very red. This product then is brought into our finishing area where the water is separated and the product is cooled down and uh, analyzed and made into the final product. As you can see in the monitor behind us, the entire extraction process here is computer process control. And all the pressures and all the temperatures and all the flows are monitored here and completely controlled. This plant has the capability of uh, producing uh, more than 10 tons of astaxanthin, 100% pure basis a year. After the extraction, the so-called spent mark of astaxanthin, remember, this is what it looked like before extraction with the red color in it. After extraction, the material is virtually free of any uh, red color. So this is called the spent mark. This is at the very end of the process, and this is a waste product. Before and after, we have gotta make sure we get it all out because this is a very expensive oleoresin. After all the work we put in it, we don't wanna lose any in the spent mark. Welcome to the finishing area for astaxanthin. Behind me, you see containers where the crude oleoresin is brought in from the extractors and from the blowdown vessel, brought into this area, and here, while it is under nitrogen and argon, we use uh, separation techniques to remove water. Also, at this point, the product is sampled and brought into the laboratory to my right. We do pesticide testing outside with a third-party laboratory, but we do all the high-pressure liquid chromatography, gas chromatography to determine astaxanthin content, beta-carotene content, lutein content, and zeaxanthin content, which are all uh, contained in this product. We make sure that this is the highest purity, most stable, and most efficacious astaxanthin in the world. This is the way the product, hematococcus biomass, looks like when we get it into the plant. This is what the product looks like after extraction and after dewatering. You can see it's a very viscous liquid. It's very red. And the important thing is, is that everything is under one roof here. We are the only extractor in the world that sells astaxanthin as a finished product. It's a B2B business, and we have all the quality assurance, extraction capability, and quality control on the front end to make sure, and the back end to make sure we have a very efficacious, highly pure, and wonderful product.